A wise person once told me, you can never be creative on your instrument if you're negative towards yourself. But if you're negative towards yourself, forget it. You're not going to play anything. You're, you're dead in the water. So just remember that as you're practicing today. Think about the future. I know you all want to go to grad school, and you're all going to do it. And tell yourself that you're going to do it. And practice like you're going to do it. Okay? Just do it. Um, I Just do it. You guys are great. You know, I met a lot of you last night. I hope that you can all come say hello to us today after the clinic. For me personally, is not when I'm like standing up there trying to like blow fire through my instrument, but it's actually when I just like fitting, this is gonna sound so simple and not very exciting, but when I just try to fit my sound into these guys a little bit, and they kind of fit into me, and all of a sudden it sounds like a cool solo. That's it, it's so simple. Um, there are musicians who have codified, like John Coltrane, a system that is just so amazing and like that sheets of sound concept, that's great. That was his thing. Unfortunately, now everybody tries to copy that. I'm sure he's rolling over in his grave. He doesn't, that was his thing. Coltrane invented that. Charlie Parker invented bebop, okay? That was his thing. We were talking about chromaticism. Charlie Parker does use a lot of chromatic notes because he invented it. That was his thing. I'm sure he doesn't want to have a lot of 20-year-old music students copying what he's doing constantly and becoming carbon copies and clones.